What is up, my Metaverse family? Welcome back to another video. This is On Chain Gaming. My name is Jake, the On Chain Gamer, and today we're going to be talking about Gala Games wallets and MetaMask and how to link your Gala Games wallet to MetaMask. Because for those of you guys who do not know, the crypto space can get a little bit complicated in that there is an app called MetaMask, which allows you to access a lot of the crypto websites, like OpenSea, for example. MetaMask interacts with OpenSea and allows you to trade uh, your NFTs and buy NFTs to your wallet. MetaMask also allows you to work with Uniswap and allows you to swap one token for another token on a decentralized exchange. So having MetaMask as your Google Chrome extension essentially gives your wallet access and allows you to access and interact with all of the crypto websites that are getting built on Internet 2.0, which is the Internet of Ethereum. And the way that Gala Games works, it's really nice and it's really like new user friendly because you create your Gala wallet and it's all inside of your Gala account. So you're just creating your Gala account and you can do everything. You already have your wallet inside of Gala, but it makes it difficult if you then want to use your Gala wallet to trade NFTs on OpenSea or to buy gala on uniswap it, it can be difficult because your wallet is locked inside of gala now the good news is it doesn't need to stay locked inside of gala so in this video I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how to import your Gala Games wallet to MetaMask so that you can interact with the internet 2.0 and all of the crypto websites. And what's really cool is once your Gala wallet is synced to MetaMask, your wallets exist in two places but stay perfectly synced because it's all on the blockchain and it's both reading your same blockchain wallet key. So that means that once your Gala wallet is linked to MetaMask and you buy something on OpenSea and NFT for one of Gala's games, it instantly appears in your Gala account and can be used in game. You don't have to do the whole issue of like trying to send one NFT from one wallet address to another wallet address. You can just have your Gala wallet address across everything that you do uh, in the crypto space. So I'm gonna be walking through it here. I'm literally gonna be creating a new Gala account, which you can skip if you already have one of those. Then I'll be installing MetaMask, linking my Gala account to MetaMask, and then showing you how it works with these decentralized web applications. So that was a pretty long intro. Hopefully that all made sense. Hit thumbs up if you're excited for this video. Hit subscribe and click that notification bell. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, it's all about blockchain gaming and play to earn gaming where you can earn money by playing games, which is super cool. So let's roll the intro. Archie gaming. All right, now that that long intro is out of the way, let's get down to business. So if you don't have a Gala Games account yet, I'm gonna show you how to set that up, how to get your secret key that you're gonna use in MetaMask. And if you already have your Gala account, uh, then you can skip forward a little bit to the next section where I show you how to grab your Gala key. But for the rest of you, what you're gonna wanna do is go down to the description of the video and click the link that is in the description for creating your Gala Games account. That link is gonna bring you to Gala Games, you're gonna hit register account in the top right, and you're then gonna create an account. So I'm gonna create this trial account for you guys where everything is just available. You can see the passwords and everything, anyone could log in. So just do not actually use this account because if you use this account and you put uh, Ethereum or something into it, somebody else is gonna take it out. So this is not the account you wanna use, but for the purposes of a tutorial, I felt like it would be good if you could just see everything. So. First, last name, email address, display name, password. We create our account. Uh, you can throw in my referral uh, code if you'd like. Uh, it's uh, the end of that link that you use to sign up, but I think it does it automatically. Um, I'm not gonna save this password, so you have to scroll through all these terms and conditions. Honestly though, the way that Gala has this set up is super user friendly. The fact that the, the wallet is created with the account is super, super nice. So now I need to verify the account creation. So I'm gonna confirm this Gala Games account in my email. And once you confirm your Gala account, this is where you get your key phrase that you have to use to actually create your wallet. So you're gonna hit create wallet here 
and you can skip and play now, but then you don't have a wallet. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we really need a wallet here. So you're gonna set a transfer code that can be the same as your password, that's fine. Um, and I honestly don't even remember uh, what password I used here. So uh, we're just gonna use anything. Test, password, uh, I think we need a capital letter, capital A, a one, and we need this, so that's, there we go. We'll confirm this. All right, so now you're gonna get your recovery phrase, and this is the phrase that you're gonna use to import your Gala wallet into MetaMask. So it's very important that you write this phrase down somewhere. So I'm just gonna open up the generic Windows notepad. This notepad is my friend, I absolutely love it. Sponsor, reason. <laughs> So that's cool, we have a recovery phrase written down. I'm serious, I actually have it written down. All right, so that's cool. So now I will confirm that you actually did write it down by asking you some questions. So what's the third word? It is parent for us, so we're gonna click that. The fourth word is veteran, so we're gonna click that. And then the eighth word, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is demise, we're gonna click that. And then it confirms we're not gonna save this. Awesome, Mr. Trial, your setup is complete. Well, thank you. Now I can set up two-factor authentication. I think if you have your own account, this is a good idea. You can just download uh, Google Authenticator and, and you can set that up. For now, we're not going to do that. If you already have your Gala account now, welcome back to the video. So we have everything that we need now, so we're gonna go over to MetaMask, and if you already have MetaMask installed with like another wallet, like I did before I created my Gala account, I already had a MetaMask wallet that I was using for Axie Infinity. Um, it is perfectly fine, you can have multiple accounts set up with your MetaMask, but for the purpose of importing your Gala wallet, it is good to have a fresh MetaMask download. So we're going to MetaMask IO slash download and I'm installing it for Chrome, which is what I'm using, but you can install it for whatever you are using. There's even an app as well. So we're gonna add the extension here. And guys, you can try to do this import uh, on a MetaMask that's not a fresh install. If it doesn't work, just remember to save your, like the wallet that you're already using on MetaMask. Make sure you save your keys for that so that when you reinstall and import your Gala wallet, you can also re-import your other wallet so that you'll have access to both wallets. All right, cool, get started. So when you're here on the get started page now, instead of creating a wallet, you're going to import a wallet. And this is the important thing. This is gonna ensure that your MetaMask wallet and your Gala Games wallet are, are exactly the same. They're synced and everything you do on one shows up on the other one. So import an account with a seed phrase. Enter your secret phrase here to restore your vault. So seed phrase from a clipboard. With the Ethereum key, you might be able to link this Gala account to uh, a MetaMask that you're already using. Um, but what we're gonna use is our seed phrase here, which is all of these words in a row. This is what gives us access to our account. So we're gonna paste the seed phrase. Oh, no, this is invalid seed phrase. Oh, is this gift, not gif? Yeah, okay. <laughs> We see, so it's really important, guys, that you write down that seed phrase correctly. I did not have the T written down for gift. So after that, you're gonna create a password for your MetaMask. Uh, we'll just go test password on both of these. And then you're going to agree to your terms and now you'll click import. Congratulations, you passed the test. Keep your seed phrase safe. It's your responsibility. All right, all done. And there you go. So you can uh, scan this QR code on mobile and it will link uh, sync up your MetaMask to mobile as well. And then you'll even have your Gala account uh, on your phone and can access all these decentralized apps. So now you can see account one has zero ETH in it, but now the entire crypto world has opened to us because if we go to opensea.io and now I type in Majestic Forge and we go to OpenSea and the Majestic Forges, they're completely sold out on the Gala website. But here on OpenSea, we can click here and now our account, we already have our account, like it's already synced up here with OpenSea. 
because if you click in the top right, click MetaMask, you have this MetaMask extension here and MetaMask is literally interacting with OpenSea.io and it is allowing you to do things. So if I were to have Ethan here, for example, I could make an offer on this NFT. And if the offer was accepted, bam, it instantly goes to my Gala account. So it would just appear in my inventory here. So it's really, really cool having them synced up. You can also use Uniswap. And by the way, there's a ton of stuff for Miranda's, ton of stuff for Townstar, uh, all here on OpenSea that you can buy that's sold out on the Gala Games store. And then the other really nice thing you can use is Uniswap. I mean, these are the two things I use most often. There's obviously a ton more applications that you can use even beyond these two if you have your MetaMask account. Uh, but yeah, here on Uniswap, you just click connect to a wallet, MetaMask, and bam, it's right there. I hit next, I hit connect. Now my MetaMask wallet is connected to a decentralized marketplace, so I could trade, for example, uh, let's type Gala in here. We could probably import Gala. And bam, now I could buy Gala with ETH on Uniswap. And if I did that, it would go directly, the Gala would appear directly in my Gala account. So it is super, super nice having your MetaMask linked to your Gala account. Now you could even create an Axie Infinity if you go to the Axie Infinity Marketplace. You could even create an Axie Infinity account with your same Gala wallet and all your game wallets will be one. And I think that's pretty cool. So now you have a hack. You can click login with MetaMask, bam, use your same exact Gala wallet for Axie Infinity. And you just sign all this stuff, give yourself a name, test man, baby. <laughs> tutorial man, however you want to do it. Uh, you can also activate a Ronin wallet. We're going to do a second tutorial on how to activate a Ronin wallet. But yeah, there is your tutorial on how to link your Gala Games wallet to MetaMask which opens up the world of crypto. The whole internet world of crypto is now at your fingertips. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, if it helped you out, remember to leave a big thumbs up as that will help out this video in the YouTube algorithm. And I really appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm sees the engagement and then recommends it to more people. So it's a great way to support the channel. Uh, another way to support the channel is by supporting us on Patreon. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are enabling us to make this content. Uh, my brother, Nate, for those of you guys who don't know, is editing this video. Uh, Josh is doing all of the music and sound effects for this video. So we have a whole team putting this content together for you. So we really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit subscribe, click that notification bell, and until next time, have fun roaming the metaverse.